Praise the Lord. We are still talking about power, encounter, and truth, encounter. And in deliverance, we often combine both of them. And the problem with the word encounter is that a lot of people teach the word. A lot of people preach the word. A lot of people give us too many information. In fact, over information over information about the scripture. But the problem is the demonstration of power, enough firepower to cast out this demon, to deal with the root of the problem, to deal with altars, to deal with witchcraft, to deal with generational causes, to deal with occult bondage and, and oppression, to deal with demonic influence through the ancestry, to deal with all the generational curses that has plagued man through their pedigree or family tree. So this is where people make a lot of mistakes. They do renunciations, they do denunciation, forgiveness, and all that. But nobody goes to apply the firepower of the Holy Spirit to destroy, decimate, defeat, totally annihilate the demonic incursion and intrusion an interjection, an imposition, and demonic torments. We need to deal with this from the root source, from the root cause, from the demonic days. And then if you don't treat or deal with any problem from the root, that problem will recur. Every issue have a tap root, or what is called the causative agent. That's why the Bible said, a curse, curseless, shall not come. That means there's always a reason or a root for a curse, or responsible for that curse, or that problem, or that issue, or that challenge. Now our path is to discover, uncover, so that we can deal and destroy, eliminate, exterminate, solve or resolve that root problem, so that the person can get permanent deliverance and walk in freedom to fulfill destiny, to fulfill God's plan and purpose for our lives. We are here to fulfill purpose. We are here because of destiny. We are here to walk in God's plan for our lives so that we can follow God's discretion and direction as well as his prescription. So that is why scripture is very powerful. But we don't stop our scripture. A lot of people stop our scripture. Information, theology. They know a lot about demons, but they don't have idea or what to do. In fact, people even prophesy and give you revelation about what to do, but they don't do it. People will tell you, oh, there's a prophetess that saw a demon following her, following him. I said, but what did the prophetess do? I said, how come the prophetess prophesied? He saw it in the realm of the spirit. He saw the demonic intruder or oppressor, but he didn't do anything about the torment because of lack of firepower. The Bible said the kingdom is not in wars, but in power. Apostle Paul said, in the last days, people will have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. The Bible said, from such, you turn away. It doesn't matter whether they are your favorite preachers or not. But people don't turn away. People sheepishly keep on following these kind of preachers. And they will tell you, deliverance is not my ministry. Deliverance is nobody's ministry. Deliverance is a general ministry at the lower level. And the higher level, God can give you the anointing, special anointing to destroy or go to the root of the money problem so that you can be a fruit. Amen. So look at the thing. You see, the word encounter is the beginning, but it's not the end. The word encounter is the scripture. Jesus said we err because we do not know the scriptures nor the power of God. So we should know both the scripture, which is the word of God, and the power of God. Some people say, oh, give me the word. So how come they are giving you the word? There's no demonstration of the word. See, it's one thing to preach the word of power without demonstrating the power of the word. 
You have to demonstrate the power of the word. Jesus showcased the word. In fact, the book of Luke started talking about what Jesus began to do and teach. In America, they said, well, those who cannot do teach, by right, you're supposed to be teaching and doing. Jesus did not do what he was teaching. He was teaching what he was already doing. It was practical. In fact, the book of Matthew recorded three and a half months of Jesus' ministry. What did he do for more than three years? Teaching, training, doing, demonstrating, practicalizing, to actualize in order to manifest and materialize the kingdom of power, the kingdom of blessing, the kingdom of freedom, the kingdom of breakthrough, the kingdom of a miracle, the kingdom of science and wonder, the kingdom of prosperity, the kingdom of restoration, not just liberation. So, power is very important. That's why God's people run around. They have all these beautiful teachings, but they don't know what to do first. What do they do second? What do they do third? Who is able to remove or dislodge, dismantle, destroy, totally deliver them. Why? Because few preachers walk in power. It's all talk. Too much talk. Talk show host, talking head, motivational speaker. Now, you can encourage me all you want to, but I need somebody who can solve my problem. I need somebody who can deal with demons because a lot of times we need help. That was why that man cried for help. He said, Lord, I believe. Help them, my unbelief. This demon wants to destroy my soul. And Jesus said, do you believe? He said, help them, my unbelief. I know I believe, but I still have doubts. And Jesus even spoke to the father to get more history. I said, how long had this been happening? The man said, since he was a child. That the demon would throw the child into water and throw that child into fire. To destroy him. Say, Lord, if you can, help us. He, he was desperate. Child of God, when you are desperate, if somebody tell you to go and watch video that you've watched before, or go and read the word, it's not going to make any meaning to you. You need help. You need support. You need a deliverance prophet. You need an apostle. We need somebody who has power, not a talk show host. That's why people talk, call it show. Because all they see is talk, talk, talk. Higher they talk and pray and that's all. Nobody to demonstrate the power like Jesus Christ. No firepower like the acts of the apostles. You need the power. You need the fire. There are seven types of power at least in the scripture. Translated as anointing or unction. Or sometimes we call it the virtue. One, there's exousia. Exousia is another name for authority, which is delegated power or the right to exercise power as at when due and as at when necessary. The second type is what is called dunamis power, which is the power gotten from the word dynamite. That's why you can use a dynamite and blow up a whole building in a few minutes. So that's the kind of raw power that you have. Even though you have authority and you have your badge, Jesus gave us authority. Remember Luke 10, 19, that the Lord gave us authority and dominion or power to trample upon scorpions and serpents and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by enemies hurt us. But we also need the dunamis power, the raw power. Sometimes there's another power that resembles dunamis we call Kratos, which is the raw power. You still need the raw power because you might exercise authority, but if it doesn't work, you need your own power generated through praying in tongues, through fasting and prayer, through relationship, through worship, through taking holy communion. Power comes also through crushing. And you can also, also ask for it like a mantle, just like Elisha did can ask the power of God in the area of deliverance as a special anointing or special grace or higher 
dimension of God's power to deal with these demons by the grace of God in the name of Jesus through the power and backing or backup power of the Holy Spirit. Now, another power people talk about is energy. Energy is the ability to do work. And sometimes in Greek, it's called energies. So energy is the kind of power that you get, like when you eat food, you get energy or calories. Sometimes we call it calories. Okay. Now, another kind of power which people don't talk about often is dominion. Dominion is like kingdom authority. So dominion is the power God gives you to rule, to reign, to oversee, to dominate. In fact, the word dominion came from to dominate over. So that's why I talk about our kingdom dominion mandate as kingdom citizens with kingdom firepower. In fact, I had to pray for extraordinary power of God in order to dislodge high-ranking demons and stubborn ones, or especially when they are many, or when they are stubborn, or when they are ferocious and dangerous. You need firepower. You don't need anybody. In fact, some people are not qualified to pray for you because they don't have the power. You can buy their books and all that. You can listen to their YouTube video. There's no harm in getting knowledge or information, but they can't help you. Because you see, information is good. Without information, you deform because you won't conform to perform. See, information is transformation. Education is medication. We understand that. That's why people erroneously say, true knowledge shall the righteous be delivered. It's not only knowledge. It's true applied knowledge. Actually. Because if you take it by face value, you hear a lot of people telling you, oh, go watch my video. If you watch the video, you'll be delivered. But no. Jesus said, if you continue in my word, in John 8, that one say, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciple indeed. 32 now said, then ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Actually, the gospel truth is that the truth you know to do consistently apply and practice is the truth that sets you free. The truth you do as a lifestyle actually make you free. Making is a process, but setting is a firepower like I'm teaching. See, the truth can make you free, which is a process. Like the Bible said, the entrance of his word giveth light and giveth understanding to the simple. And now if you say the unfolding, it's a gradual process, it's a progressive revelation, for elevation, for promotion, for demotion of the de demons, will make you free. Making or forming is a process. But uh, setting free is instant anointing, which I'm preaching, which I'm talking about. Because remember, we say there are two types of deliverance. What encounter or this using the scripture? Because that's how Jesus defeated the devil. It is written, it is written, it is written. And the devil left. That's what is called word encounter. The Lord encountered the devil with the word of God, what was written, the written word. Even today, the written word was given to us to know our Lord Jesus Christ, the living word. Then people ignore the power encounter. Because the Bible says in the last days, preachers especially will have a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. The Lord said, from such turn away. That's why you see a lot of preachers, even in deliverance, they talk, 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 talk. They have their books, their tapes, their videos. They have all the information about deliverance, yet you are not delivered because they have a bunch of information. In fact, sometimes information can become misinformation or disinformation. In fact, past president of Google had described the social media and internet as a cesspool of disinformation. 
So you have the good, the bad, and the ugly. So which one do you know to pre 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 um, to do first? Do next. To do second. What is the step-by-step -step process? And that's what and why you need guidance. You need direction. You need somebody that can destroy the demon. Because there are people that are coming around. Things are crawling in their body. And then sometimes at night, all kinds of nightmare, night terror, demons invading their dream, eating in the dream, polluting your spirit, polluting your spiritual life, polluting your blessings, putting monitoring gadgets, weakening your prayer life. Strike and trace you because of those gadgets or implants or seedlings or demonic arrows or demonic infiltration and caution or onslaught or demonic uh, deposits or witchcraft deposits because the devil doesn't do with that point of contact and contamination without which there's no pollution and perversion and defeat. So this is the way and why we need a deliverance prophet with a special grace or anointing. Remember what Jesus said. He said the part of the body that lack, a reinforcement was given. That more honor or grace is given to the part of the body that lack. Today, people talk about deliverance, but there's no power. There's no fire. In fact, it's less than 1% of churches that do deliverance. You can even find or easier to find a McDonald's restaurant, fast food, than to get a church that does deliverance. Very difficult. That's why God's people are running around. We're not supposed to run around because deliverance was the heartbeat. The same one, the heart and soul of Jesus' Rolls Royce ministry. In fact, deliverance popularized him. Deliverance brought him out, advertised him. Deliverance pronounced to announce him. Because Jesus knew that this is where the problem is. There's no evil that doesn't have an evil spirit behind it. No, 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 directly or indirectly. Consciously or unconsciously. Whether sleepy moment or awake, whether you believe it or not. Trust me. So, in power encounter, and I will close with the word of Apostle Paul, who said, I did not come to you with enticing words of men's wisdom. I came to you by the Holy Spirit and demonstration of power so that your faith would not rest in the wisdom of God, uh, uh, man, rather, but in the power of God. That means God wants you not to, to, to demonstrate the power, but to have faith, trust, and confidence in the power. So, knowing that, you discover that another type of power is potential. People talk about potential or potential energy or energy at rest that has not yet been expressed or been manifested. Yes. So potential is also a kind of power. Then uh, another type of power is might or physical strength. See, we've talked about the seven, we talk about exousia, we talk about kratos, we talk about dunamis, we talk about energies, we talk about uh, authority. You know, we also talk about strength. The Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. It's not by power, it's not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord God of us. So another one is might. So strength is there, energy is there, might is there. So there are different translations or transliteration of power. And people, including preachers, ignore it. Because We've lost the acts of the apostle thinking, the early church. They demonstrated the power. They did deliverance. They didn't skip it. They didn't say we are teaching the word, but deliverance is not among it. In fact, you cannot teach the kingdom without demonstration of the deliverance manifestation to deal with the enemy so that people can walk in freedom. Let me tell you about the kingdom. The kingdom of God came to showcase pronounce and announce that a dominant, new, powerful, transcendent, overarching, superior kingdom of light has come to displace, destroy, defeat, disentangle, dismantle, totally annihilate the kingdom of darkness.
that is inferior. But you have to understand that. You have to apply these principles. You don't just teach it. You have to practice it. Because every practice has a principle behind it. So the principle of the word of God, which is the word encounter or scriptures, has to be married with the virtues or the power or the unction to function or higher dimension of grace to achieve a unified, total, integrated, deeper deliverance. God bless you, child of God. Talk to you. I'm going to pray for our audience. Father, we thank you for your people. We give you praise. We honor you. We magnify your name. As your teaching, the power of your word has gone forth, let it be a hammer, O oh God, as an instrument of deliverance, of breakthrough, of turnaround, of miracles, signs, and wonder, of restoration. And moreover, to set your people free, totally free, to fulfill destiny, to walk in your plan and purpose, to walk in their spiritual experience, to assess their blessing and kingdom blessing, kingdom increase, kingdom victory. That Jesus bled and died for. Father, we thank you, bless you, give you praise, honor, and adoration. Thank you, King of Glory, for praying in Jesus' name. My people of God say, Amen. 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 Amen.